Hello everyone, welcome to Paymon Tech Media. In this video, you are going to learn different ways to convert a decimal number to a binary number. In this section, we will use place value position technique to convert a decimal number to a binary number system. Let's say we have a decimal number of 357 and we want to convert it to binary. Okay, let's put these place values. That should be enough for this number. And each place has a position. So starting all the way to the right, position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Binary is a base 2 system. So base is 2. Now we can get our decimal values for each place. So 2 to the power of 0, it's 1. Any number to the power of 0, it's 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. And so on. Let's add one more place to the left. This would be position 9. 2 to the power of 9 is 512. And for these decimal values, you probably noticed every time we moved to the left, it did multiply by 2. Because of the binary number, it multiplies by 2. It's a base 2 system. 1, 2, 4, 8, 6, and 32, 64, and so on. Now we can go ahead and convert 357 decimal to binary using place value position technique. What do we have to do next? We have to go left to right and see this 357 if it's greater or equal than this decimal value. So 357 greater than or equal 512. If it is greater than or equal 512, we put number 1. But it is not. 357 is less than 512. So in other words, if we subtract 357 minus 512, we get the negative value. Anytime we get the negative value, we just need to put 0. So this one is off. Now what about 256? Does 357 greater than or equal 256? The answer is yes. Or in other words, when we subtract 357 minus 256, we don't get negative value. Therefore, this is on. Now, what is our new value? So 357 minus 256, this is 1, 0, 1. Now, this is our new value that we have to compare. So let's erase and write 101. Does 101 greater than or equal 128? Or if we subtract 101 minus 128, if we get negative value, we have to put 0. In this case, 101 is less than 128. So this is 0. Let's move on. What about this one? 64. 101 is greater than 64. So this one is on. Now what is our new value? Let's see. So here we have 101 minus 64, which is 37. So this is our new value. Let's raise and put 37 here. Okay, now let's move on. Does 37 greater than or equal 32? Yes, it is greater than 32. So we have to put 1. And every time it's on, we have to subtract and get the new value. Therefore, 37 minus 32 is 5. So now 5 is our new value. Let's raise this and put 5 here. Okay, so does 5 greater than or equal 16? No. So we put 0. Does 5 greater than or equal 8? No. So we put 0. Does 5 greater than or equal 4? Yes, it is greater than 4. So we put 1. Now because this is on, we have to subtract to get the new value. So let's erase this. 5 minus 4 is 1. Now 1 is our new value. So let's erase this and put 1. And let's continue. Does 1 greater than or equal 2? 
it's not greater than 2. So let's put 0. Does 1 greater than or equal 1? It is equal, so let's put 1. Now because it's on, let's subtract to get our new value. So 1 minus 1, 0. And when we get to the value of 0, we stop. So this is our binary number for this decimal value. And zeros to the left doesn't count. So 357 decimal is equivalent to 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. This number in binary system. Let's take a look using calculator. So first we have to change the view from standard to the programmer and making sure decimal is selected which it is selected as we can see here and then 357 357 decimal gives us binary of this value which is going from right to left 1010 zero, zero. so here we have 1010 zero, 0110 zero. Zero, one, one, zero. Zero, one, one, zero. 1 here and of course, zeros to the left doesn't count, so one here and zeros to the left. Let's take a look at another decimal number. So for example, let's say decimal number of 80 and we want to convert it to binary. So let's put the place values. And because this is a larger number than the uh, number they gave us, so we can stop here. We don't need to continue because again, this number has to be greater than or equal these numbers, then it's one, right? So obviously this one would be off. Or also we can say, what is the largest number till this number that they gave us? In this case, 64 is the largest number close to the number they gave us. 128 is greater than 80, but 64, that's the largest number in this list close to the number they gave us. Therefore, in this example, 8 bits, it's more than enough. So let's see, does 80 greater than or equal 128? No, it's not greater than 128, so it's off. Does 80 greater than or equal 64? It is greater, so let's put 1 here. What is our new value? 80 minus 64 is 16. This is our new value. Does 16 greater than or equal 32? It's not greater, so it's off. And does 16 greater than or equal 16? It is equal, so it's on. What is our new value? So 16 minus 16 equals zero. This is our new value. And when we have zero, pretty much the rest of them is zero. So decimal number of 80 is equivalent of 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 in binary number system. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let's take a look using calculator. We want to make sure programmer is selected and decimal is selected and putting 80. So this is the binary. 0, 1, 0, 1, and 4 zeros. 0, 1, 0, 1, and 4 zeros. Or actually, if we clear the calculator and selecting the binary, putting 0, 1, 0, 1, and 4 zeros, we can see decimal value is 80. Well, this was an example of converting decimal value to a binary number using place value position technique. In the next section, we will talk about how we can convert decimal number to a binary number using successive division technique. In this section, we will use a successive division technique to convert a decimal number to a binary number. Let's use the same decimal number we used earlier, 357. So here we can see the subscript 10 means it is base 10 system, which it means it is a decimal number system, 357 decimal number. Okay, so we want to convert 357 to binary using successive division technique. What we need to do, 357 divided by 2, 
Why 2? Because of the binary is a base 2 system, which is 178.5, and we need to find the remainder. So in order to find the remainder, we just need to multiply 2 times 0 0.5, which gives us a remainder of 1. Now we need to take 178 and divide it by 2. So 178 divided by 2, which is 89 and with the remainder of 0. Now 89 divided by 2, which is 44.5. And what is our remainder? 2 times 0 0.5 gives us a remainder of 1. Now 44 divided by 2, which is 22, with the remainder of 0. And 22 divided by 2, which is 11, remainder of 0, 11 divided by 2, 5.5, remainder 1, 2 times 0 0.5, it's 1, now 5 divided by 2, it is 2.5, remainder 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1, remainder 0, and 1 divided by 2 which is 0 0.5, so remainder is 1 here, so 2 times 0 0.5 is 1. And because we got to the 0, we stop here. So here this number at the top is least significant bit, and this number here at the bottom is the most significant bit. And what we need to do next, we just need to write the numbers going from bottom to top, which in this case we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and then 1. Let's see it using calculator. So changing the standard view to the programmer view. Decimal already selected, 357. And it gives us a binary of this value, which as we can see, 1, 0, 1, 1, here we have 1, 0, 1, 1, and then we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So when we have our decimal value, we just need to divide it by 2 and then find the remainder. And you probably noticed when the value is odd value, the remainder is 1. When the value is even, the remainder is 0. And then when we get to 0, we stop and we just write down the remainder and we write the numbers going from bottom to top. So these are our binary numbers for this decimal value. This was an example of converting a decimal number to a binary number using successive division technique. And this was a quick overview of different ways to convert a decimal number to a binary number. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and have a good day.